espresso presentation is on climate resilient hand hygiene in South Asia. I'm Sue Cavill and my co-author is Nicole Kleisner-Metzner, who's a WASH specialist with UNICEF's regional office in South Asia. So for context, the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change predicts that South Asia as a region will see hotter weather, longer monsoon seasons and increased drought as total global warming increases in the next two decades. Flooding threatens the coastal areas of Bangladesh, India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, with saltwater intrusion anticipated. Landlocked countries, including Afghanistan, Bhutan and Nepal, face rising temperatures, drought and glacial melts. Arid and semi-arid areas of Bangladesh, Sri Lanka and India face an increase in duration and intensity of droughts. And the lowest lying country in the world, the Maldives, could be submerged. Already nearly half of South Asia's population 700 million people have been affected by at least one climate related disaster in the last decade and India and Pakistan are among the 20 countries most affected by climate change in the 21st century. Climate change has important implications for health and well-being. The risk of catching bacterial and viral infections increases with the fluctuating temperatures and high moisture content in the air and these factors are likely to increase with climate change. So hand hygiene will have an increasingly important role in reducing colds, flu, diarrhea, skin, eye and other infections in future. However, joint monitoring programme data indicates that currently three out of 10 people in South Asia do not have access to hand washing facilities for soap and water at home. For those people that do have access to hand hygiene facilities, this table indicates some of the likely effects of climate change on the different components of hand hygiene, on the different technologies or devices, water supply, grey water disposal and soap. Some of the likely effects include destruction of infrastructure with limited ability to rebuild, water scarcity, which is a critical bottleneck for hygiene outcomes, water quality, for instance, with the increasing saltwater intrusion, and disrupted supply chains and limited choice for soap. Some of the adaptations that are already emerging in the literature and programming for adaptations include adapting hand hygiene technologies. So for instance, by making the devices more climate resilient or more robust, or developing devices that can be quickly rebuilt to ensure that people keep practicing the behavior or else siting hand washing stations in safer locations. Adaptations are also being made to water supplies, for instance, choosing different water sources or multiple water supply sources, increasing water storage, changing management practices and adapting grey water disposal. Adaptations to soap are also being made, for instance, in the choice of products or using products where the manufacture and distribution of soap contributes less to the carbon footprint. Recommendations to support more resilient hand hygiene programming um, include using multiple sources of data to inform climate adapted water safety and security plans and sanitation safety plans, not just climate data, but also data that emerges from community mapping and dialogue tools, adapting hand hygiene behaviour change strategies um, so that this increases the likelihood that the behaviour will be maintained or facilities rebuilt after weather related events. Diversifying water sources and improving water storage capacity. As well as preventing deteriorating water quality or making hand hygiene devices that are more resilient. It's also an opportunity to capitalise on the synergies with water resource management programming as well as climate related programming efforts. So thanks very much for your attention. We look forward to answering any questions you have during the live Q&A. Thank you.